Hi everyone, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, so that means today is my Goodwill and Thrift Store Try On Haul. And as you can see, I'm in a different location. I'm at Hope's house today. I thought I would try something a little different and use her natural lighting. I'm in her bedroom and she has a window here and a window on the opposite side of me. So I thought that that may be a little bit better lighting for us today. I like filming in my closet room but I do not have any natural lighting at all. I have one small window and it has a dark curtain on it. And then I have my room divider in front of that. So I'm, I'm having to use the umbrella lighting and I think the umbrella, umbrella lighting is fine, but I've noticed the last couple of videos that it is washing me out and it's making me look really white and bright, but it's making my makeup look harsh and I'm not liking the way it's looking at all. So I thought we'd try some natural lighting today. And I am at Hope's uh, the majority of the time during the day. So I think that I will start filming in front of her. She's got beautiful, she lives in an older home, a big, big two-story home, and it's got big, beautiful windows in it. And she has a lot, of, her home has the most natural lighting of any home that I've ever been in. And it is very beautiful and very bright. Uh, and I'm going to start using some of her natural lighting to film and take advantage of being at her house. So uh, you probably will see me in different areas of her house from time to time. And I will continue to video and record in my closet room. But I'm, I'm not sure how good it's going to ever get because of the umbrella lighting. And I think that it is making my skin and my face look really bright. And my makeup is looking really harsh. Now today you're seeing a truer image of what I look like or what I would look like if you was here with me today. As I look at myself, that's pretty true to color in every area. And this lip uh, lipstick is the very last one of the uh, little Minnie Mouse collection that I borrowed from Hope. And I like it, but it's a little bright, so I'm not sure if I would purchase it for myself. But this one is called um, Whipped Blush. And it is pretty, it's a really bright pink uh, lip and I'm liking it and I kept my eyes toned down a little bit today because I'm still having some trouble with uh, crepiness and allergies and itchy eyes and uh, I'm hoping how soon that this will pass. I think I'm going to have to try to buy me some over-the-counter over allergy medicine uh, which usually makes me feel bad so I try not to take it but I think I'm going to have to go buy me some today. Uh, and try that. But uh, yeah, I'm excited about starting with my haul. And my hair is all braided today. Hope uh, braided my hair and she done a really good job. But I wanted something pulled back away from my face so when I slipped the clothes over my head, it wouldn't be too bad. And uh, it's already a little messy looking anyway. So I'm going to have fun with that today. And uh, so we'll just jump in and get started with item number one. Okay, here is the first item, and I'm going to back up, and I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder because her room is bigger than mine, and I want you to be able to hear me. I'm really liking my hair, if you can see how cute it is. I love it. She does a good job. Like I said, she'd been uh, watching tutorials on braiding, and she's uh, been practicing on me and uh, Sue Ellen. Uh, this is the first top. It is a Banana Republic. Heritage. I'd never heard of the Heritage uh, line, but it's just a really pretty nude color, sheer top, if you can see. And I just have a pair of my American Eagle um, flared jeans, and they're distressed. And I'm just going to keep these jeans on until I change into my dresses. And I do have one skirt. I didn't get any shoes this time. I got a couple of scarves. But I love this top. This is a size small. I don't know if I told you that. I still got my black nails, but they're starting to chip a little bit. And I just got some bands on today. I just wanted to keep it simple because I think when I do the try-on, it makes it easier if I don't have a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, I really, really like this top. This is definitely a keeper. I can see myself wearing this a lot. I've got several things that uh, I'm not really sure about when I when I picked them up. Like I said, I've not even looked at them since I bought them. I didn't even uh, look at them when I got them home. I wanted to try them on and then show them to you first. And uh, But when I did look at the stuff when I was putting it in the bag, uh, there's several things that I'm not really sure that I'll keep or not or if I'll keep, but I've got friends that would like it. But I, 
I love this top. So this is top number one, and we'll go to number two. Okay, this is blouse number two, and I really like it. I'll stand up and show it to you, but I just want to say that, can you hear that? Hope lives in town, and it's a pretty little town, but it's real congested, and she has several neighbors, and so you can hear the dog barking, you can hear people outside with their cars, and you can hear people talking even, so if you hear any noise, that's why, that's what it is. Now, me, myself, I live up a holler, we call it, a hollow, I guess is the right way to say it, but we live up a holler, so you, every now and then, you may hear a dog or something barking, but you don't hardly hear any people or cars, but now, you probably will hear some noise in the background, but okay, this is blouse number two and like I said, I really like it. It is a Banana Republic, and I find, or I'm realizing that you find a lot of Banana Republic uh, things at Goodwill and thrift stores, and it's a really expensive brand, so if you can find a Banana Republic blouse for, I think this was $3.99, you know, that's a good deal, and I'm really liking the blouse. But as you can see, now I'm not going to, when I'm explaining the blouse, I will probably just stand up. You may not get to see my face, but you'll be able to hear me. But this is a size small, and as you can tell, most everything is going to be really wrinkled. But it's got little black buttons and the ruching or the little ruffles down the front. And it's got buttons on the sleeves, but they're kind of hard to button. So I'm going to have to have someone help me with that. But they do, they do fit. But uh, I really like the blouse. I think it's cute. There's the back. But yeah, I got this at Goodwill. And I think everything that I got at Goodwill was like $3.99. And maybe the dresses was $4.99. And they are a little bit more, you hear, they're uh, revving up their motor outside. But um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Goodwill prices are a little bit more expensive than the thrift stores that I shop at, but it's still really worth it. But that is blouse number two. Okay, this is blouse number three. It is an Old Navy blouse, a size small, and it is tan, as you can see, with checks. I love the uh, blocks and the check print in this, and I love this. Let me show you the, call, uh, the uh, pockets. I love the little, they're just, they're real pockets, but I like the little flaps on the pockets. It's got the little camp sleeves with the buttons, but you can row them down. And I cannot help it. I have to bend down and talk to you because I feel like I'm being rude, but uh, I love this blouse. And I forgot to tell you that the little white Banana Republic blouse is definitely a keeper. So everything that I've tried on so far, I'm definitely keeping. But I think this is so cute. I love this. Pull my pants up. When I lose weight, I lose all my hips and my pants want to sag. So I usually wear a belt. But, uh, and when I'm heavy, I'm really big in the hips. So it's really funny. I changed my looks completely uh, from being heavy to being skinny. <laughs> but yeah, I love this blouse. So item number four coming up. Okay, blouse number four is a brand I've never heard of. It's Harvey Bernard. And I had this in my buggy. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. See what I'm talking about? <clears throat> I'm going to get me some allergy medicine. I'm going to get me something over the counter today and see if that helps. I have taken allergy medicine in the past, but sometimes that makes me feel bad. But I guess I'm going to have to try to get me some today and take it. But uh, I love this little shirt. I love everything about it. Uh, actually, I had this in the buggy, and when I was checking out at Goodwill, I was undecided, and I laid it up on the counter, and uh, and I told her, I told the lady that I had changed my mind on that one. Well, I kept looking at it and looking at it, so after I paid for the my stuff, I said, go ahead and add that on there. I'm going to have to get it, and I'm glad that I did. I really like it. It has the buttons down the front. It kind of looks like I would probably classify this with like my little denim and blue jean butt ups that I showed you the other day, but I really like it. It's a size small. I don't know if you can hear Hope's cat is scratching on the door. I've got the door locked to the bedroom and uh, she's used to coming in here and laying on the bed and she's scratching. So if, if you hear it, that's what it is. And Hope's got two cats. One is a hairless cat that came from California. And uh, I will try to video her and put her at the end of uh, 
this uh, video. And she, her name is Peaches. She does have a little bit of fuzz right now because it's cold weather, but she'll shed most of that in the spring and summer and be completely hairless. And she's the sweetest thing ever. And she is deaf. She was born deaf. And we did not even realize it till after we had her a year. But she's precious. And then she has another cat uh, named Lovey. And she's the one that's used to sleeping in here on the bed. So she's, she's not liking being locked out of her room. But yeah, I like this top real well. I'm, this is a keeper. I really like this top. It's one of my favorites so far. Uh, but it's kind of odd because there's no brand name on it anywhere. And it doesn't look like any of the tags has been uh, taken off or torn off or anything. But it looks like it may have came from Old Navy. It has the same look, but uh, I love this top. It's got the pocket here. And it's like a blush, if you can tell, a blush and gray striped. Really pretty and soft. Um, just looks like it may be a little bit longer in the back. But I'm loving this top with jeans. It is a size medium, but uh, I think it fits fine. I could tell that it was running a little bit small, which I like my tops oversized sometimes. And I like fitted tops, but I like when I wear a button up like this a lot of times, I like it to be looser. Really wrinkled, isn't it? For somebody that doesn't like to iron, I buy a lot of wrinkled clothes. But I think this is what item number five, and I, this is a keeper, like I said. Like I said, me and, me, me and my repeating myself. This is an old navy blouse, and as you can see, it is real similar to the first blouse I showed you by Banana Republic Heritage. But this is a button up, got the little flaps and the pockets. And it's Old Navy, did I tell you that? It's Old Navy, and I really like the feel of it. I have been uh, attracted to real thin, silky blouses, and I think that I will wear them a lot this summer because a lot of times I like to wear something on my arms. My arms are not my best feature, and so I don't really wear a lot of sleeveless things, and I like uh, to wear sleeves, but I like to uh, have stuff thin for the summer. And so I have picked up se several, um, missed the button, I have picked up several thin blouses here recently. But yes, I really like this one. I had to let the cat in because she would not stop scratching. So I'm not sure if you'll see her or not. You may end up seeing her walking around back here somewhere. But uh, I would pick her up and show you to show her to you that she's hateful. She's not like Peaches at all. Peaches is very sweet. Peaches is very sweet, like a fruit, get it? I'm silly. But yes, I like this blouse. I've lost track of the number. I'm not gonna number them because I lose track of it, but I really like this blouse. It's a keeper. This is an Old Navy blouse, uh, size medium. <clears throat> I am so sorry about my throat. It's really scratchy today. But, <clears throat> excuse me. But Old Navy is another brand that you will find uh, a lot at thrift stores and Goodwill, and I love Old Navy. We have an Old Navy in a nearby in a nearby mall, and I go in there all the time. But it's like a kind of like a it's not pink. I know it kind of looks pink on here, but it's more like a faded red, and it's got the pocket. And I know you know by now that I love button ups, but I will wear a button up with everything. I would wear this with. Jeans, of course, faux leather pants, skirts, uh, those blue jean shorts I showed you. I would even wear something like this with a pair of tan pants or khakis or camo, anything. I just, I wear them with everything and I love them. So it's one of my favorite looks. But yeah, this is definitely a keeper. Most of the things that I got at Goodwill, I knew that I would really like. So, uh, because like I said, it's a little bit more expensive at Goodwill. So usually I will pick things that I'm pretty positive that I will like. This one looks kind of pretty with the lips. I don't know. The more I look at the lipstick, the more I like it. I think I'm going to go this evening and check out some more of the uh, Sephora liquid lipstick stains and kind of swatch some of the colors. And I think I'm going to go over to Macy's and look at those blouses. I'm going to have to buy those blouses. I know I will. 
there's two uh, that I'm uh, really uh, attracted to. There's a white one, and then there's another one that's got the, uh, some real tiny stripes in. And as you can tell, I like stripes too. This has got a little bit of a polka dot print, if you can tell. But yeah, I like this one. I love this. This is, uh, I guess, like a tunic, real soft. I have never heard of this brand, and I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's T-A-C-E-R-A. I guess it's Tessera, a size small, and it's real soft. It's got the bell sleeves, and if you can tell, it is gray and like a paler gray and a greenish-yellow stripe, like a char chartreuse. Is that how they say that? Maybe. But I really like it. It's like a tunic. Reminds me of something in the 70s, and I think it looks cute with jeans. I would uh, wear this with jeans or with a pair of gray leggings and some boots. I think it's really adorable. Definitely a keeper. Uh, this might be my favorite thing so far. Yeah, I love this one. I am in love with this piece. Look how cute this is. I guess it's like a sweater dress. I would wear it as a long, like a tunic um, with my jeans or with leggings. But it is a sweater material. I love the big, I guess kind of like a cow neck. And then it's got cuffed sleeves. They're sewn cuffed. But uh, it's really super soft. The brand is Akini, I guess, A-K-I-N-I. -I. Never heard of that brand either, but I really, really love this. Is this not cute? I love this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this one back on and wear to the mall today. I really like it. So on to the next one. Okay, this sweater came from the uh, St. Jude's uh, thrift store. This was our first stop yesterday, and it still has the tag on it. And it is a brand called Ambience, or Ambience, uh, and I had never heard of that brand either. And I really like it. It's kind of cropped. I just have my nude cami underneath, but I would probably wear either a gray cami or a black cami. But I really like it. You could even wear it off the shoulder probably if you wanted to. I'm not uh, I'm not really much for that look, but I think it is a cute look. But uh, yeah, I like the sweater real well. Now I have a two dresses and a skirt left from Goodwill, but I wanted to wait and try those on at the last. So if I can remember, I'll tell you which, which store, uh, which place I got which item, if I can remember. When you shop and go to so many places like we do, it's hard to keep track of where you get the things from. But uh, I really like this one. As you can see, it's, I'm not sure what you call. It's got like little seams running on the arms. and But it's gray and black. And yeah, it's like a dark, it's a dark gray, black, and a light gray. As of right now, I think I'll keep this one. I'll know more about it when I pair it up with a different cami, but I like it. I like this next little blouse. It's a Gloria Vanderbilt, uh, and it says a large, and I'm not sure if it's a large in women's or what, but it, it, it runs small in the arms. I'm not sure if the sleeves, they tie here, which of course I didn't even think to tie it before I put it on, but I kind of like them loose. It's just, it kind of has the little bunching right here. It's a cute blouse, but it kind of confuses me because I'm not sure with the sizing because it really doesn't look like a large. Maybe it's a large and a little girl's. I'm not really sure, but the arms seem uh, short. So I don't really know about this one. I'm going to have to get my daughter to look at it and see what she thinks. I like the look of it, and I wouldn't care a bit to wear it this way. But you can see how roomy it is. I don't know if it would be a large for a little girl or a large for a woman, but uh, 
It's kind of cute, but I don't really know about this one. I'm gonna have to think about this one a while. I really love this little top. It is an expensive brand, American Rag, and I think that you can get it at uh, Macy's and some really higher end department stores, but I really like it. It's a size medium, but I like it a little bit oversized and loose. It's made to look that way. But I really, really like this one. And I think if my Aunt Diane is watching this, she'd probably like this. And I just want to say hi because she's one of my biggest supporters. And I know she watches all my videos. So I love you, Aunt Diane. Can't wait to see you. But, uh, yeah, I love this blouse. But Diane, my aunt, she is one of the coolest people I know, and she knows all the brand names from the lower end to the higher end. She's all about brands, and she can tell tell you what they are, where they come from, and how expensive they are, and she's taught me a lot over the years. But yeah, and I'm sure she'll know this brand too. But yeah, I love this top. This is definitely a keeper. Very soft, very cool for summer. Yeah, I'm real satisfied with this one. Now, the next several items will be from the quarter place. So, everything that you see until I try on my dresses was things that I got for a quarter a piece. But I'm loving this little top. I love the sleeves. It is a Charisma brand, but it does not have the sizing in it. But I, I like the sleeves. That's what drew me to this blouse, and it's silk. I think it's 100% silk. This little blouse reminds me of like an uh, Easter egg. It's really pretty. It's a real pretty lavender purple. And uh, I think this would look cute with a pencil skirt if you wanted to dress it up for church or even for Easter. It would be a pretty color for Easter. But I like them with jeans. It's not usually a color that I wear, but I think I'll wear this one a couple of times. I like it. I have a habit of when I smile sticking my tongue out, and I've noticed me, uh, me doing that several times in my videos. But yeah, I like this little blouse. On to the next one. Okay, this little blouse is a J. Crew blouse, and uh, I've noticed that when I wear anything with stripes, that it goes real wonky when I record, and when you watch it back, it's a little bit wavy, so that's why, because it's got stripes in it. It probably wouldn't do that if, if I had a good camera, but it's my phone, so. But this blouse will look a lot better when this is ironed down. But it's got the little, uh, I guess, little ruffled, layered, as you can see. But once that's ironed down, it'll be really cute. And the collar, I like that the collar is made to stand up on its own. It just stands up. I like that. I like that look. But like I said, it's white with really tiny gray, um, I don't know if you can see, pinstripes. I like the big cuffs. J. Crew is another brand that I've been seeing a lot lately. But I will know more about this blouse after it's been ironed. But uh, I think it'll be really cute once it's ironed. So we'll just have to wait and see on this one. This is just a little knit sweater. It doesn't have the sizing or the brand in it. But I just thought it was cute. I like the color. I guess it's like what they call what a periwinkle shade and just a cream. And I just thought it was cute with jeans. Yeah, I think it looks good with my jeans that I have on today. But like I said, it's probably an old sweater, an older sweater. But I have wiped my nose so much that I've worn my makeup off. But yeah, I like the sweater. I'm not sure, you know, uh, how long I'll keep it or how many times I'll wear it. I may even hand it down to my granddaughter eventually. She's almost as big as I am. She's growing. We found her two of the cutest little sundresses, and she found a little top. I think it's... I don't think she found anything else. I only found a few things at the bag sale. Uh, I have a dress that came from there that I'll show you. Uh, but this came from the quarter sale, so this was a quarter. Well worth that, huh? This next sweater is a brand uh, called Kenar, K-E-N-A-R, and it's a size small. And I think that I have seen this brand before at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I think Marshalls and TJ Maxx uh, are the same company, but it is a dark gray 
And I'll tell you what I like about this. Let me fix my pants. I needed a belt today with these jeans, but a belt sometimes takes away from your outfit if you're trying on certain shirts. But I'll show you what I liked about this sweater. If you can tell, it zips up the back. I don't know how well you can tell that. I like the sweater, but it's itchy. I can't say anything that itches me. And when I picked it up, I kind of thought that it would. But for a quarter, I thought I'd bring it home and try it. So I may have to donate this one back because I don't think anybody that I know will really want to wear this. That's a shame. It's really cute. It's a basic sweater that you can wear with a lot of things, but I can't stand to be itchy. Yeah, so on to the next one. There's a funny story behind this blouse, and to be honest, I like it. But uh, when we was up there at the quarter place yesterday, there was this elderly lady, and she was so sweet. And I had never met her up there before, but she says she goes every week, and she looks for hours. And uh, so we were looking on in the aisle next to her, and she kept trying to show us things that she thought we might like, and it was some of the ugliest terrible, most terrible looking things I'd ever seen. She would show us old itchy polyester pants that look like, you know, somebody older would want to wear. And not saying that older women can't look classy and look nice, but you know what I'm talking about. The old school, old, old pants with the elastic and the real, it was just some of the most terrible things that she was trying to show us. And she just kept showing me uh, jackets and pants and shirts. And uh, she finally held this up. And she said, this is an extra large. And I don't know if she thought I was an extra large or what, but uh, I looked over at it and I thought, well, that really is kind of cute. And it, it definitely isn't an extra large because it fits. But look how cute it is. I'm kind of glad she found this one. It might be a little big right here. I really don't know, but uh, it ties in the back. And it's got a little zipper right here that zips, and it's got splits. It, it don't zip all the way down. But I had to humor her and take something. And when she showed me this, I thought, well, I'll, I'll take it and try it. And I might. I'm not really sure about this one yet. But she was the sweetest little thing. And uh, she was wanting to help us out so bad. And she was talking to Kayla. And she was showing her pants that looked like, you know, my grandma would wear and uh, we were just trying to be really nice to her, but she'd done that for a good 30 minutes. So I finally found this little top. And then after I, or she showed me this little top, and then after I took it, she was satisfied. But we'll have to see. On to the next one. Do I look like Mary Tyler Moore on the Mary Tyler Moore Show? You know what? I do like uh, some of the uh, older styles. I do. And I was drawn to this blouse. I like the tie. Let me show you what it does. It's connected. And I have a bracelet that I have in mind to wear with this only if I just wear this one time. But it's an Oleg Cassini. Never heard of that brand. It's probably an old brand. I would say this is an old blouse. It's Oleg, O-L-E-G, Cassini, C-A-S-S-I-N-I. -S -S -I, and it's satin or silk. And I think it's made to hang loose. It's a size 10, so it's probably big. But I don't know, there was just something about this blouse and I actually think it looks cute. I like the sleeves. And I would just wear this with distressed jeans. I probably wouldn't even um, dress it up too much, but I just think it's cute. But I have a bracelet, and there is a story behind my bracelet, too. I'm full of stories. But I have a bracelet that I want to wear with this blouse at least once. And when I do wear it, I will show you. But I would just wear it with some distressed jeans or even some uh, black pants and moto boots. But I think it's cute. And I like green. Uh, emerald is my birthstone, and I like that. But, yeah, I think it's cute. I want to have fun with this blouse, but I probably it's probably not a forever keeper. But uh, I'll have fun with it, and I'll show you what to do when I do fix it up with something. So, on to the next one. 
Hey everyone, that completes the first part of my try-on haul. Uh, my editing tool that I have on my phone won't let me upload but 20 clips. So what we're going to have to do a part two, but it will be right on after this one. So check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.